Hi, my name is Pete Bosch, and if you're watching this, it's probably because you've either signed up for or considering signing up for the, uh, the syndicated content stream for social media that uh, a bunch of us in Zone 29 have put together for your clubs. Um, the way it works is, if you look in the bottom uh, left-hand side of the video that you're watching, you'll see a folder, and the folder, uh, although you can't see the name of the folder, the folder is called 2024-0508. And what that means is 2024, the year, 05, May, 08, so May 8th, 2024. And the files that are in that folder are article.txt, fbpost.txt, image.png, I know it doesn't say that on the screen, but trust me, it's a PNG, uh, and x.txt. So what do you do with those? If you look at the right-hand side of the video that you're, uh, that you're watching, you'll see the user interface of a web app called Buffer. And uh, the details of how you sign up for a Buffer account, this is a free account, by the way, the details of how you sign up for a Buffer account and how you set up your channels is uh, uh, beyond this because your, your channels will vary and uh, it should be fairly straightforward how to set the account up. But what I've got here is um, a channel for Waukesha Rotary Club for Facebook, for its X webpage, and for its LinkedIn webpage. And I'm going to go through the process of uh, today, as I record this, it is May 7th, and since the folder is for May 8th, I'm going to show you how to go through the process of setting up uh, posts for May 8th. You could do it obviously for any day you wanted. You can do multiple posts on the same channel. So you could do three Facebook posts, three X posts, and three uh, Waukesha, or sorry, three LinkedIn posts. Um, so for example, let's say you're gone for the weekend and uh, there's a topic for uh, Friday and one for Sunday. You could set those up and they would, uh, they would happen without uh, essentially hands off on your part. So we start with the Facebook account. You copy the text from the FB post file, paste it in, and drag and drop the image into the image box there. It'll load up, and this is really all you need to do. Now you schedule the post. It's the 7th. We're going to say the 8th at, uh, I don't know, let's say 7... 45 in the morning. Now let's do it at 7 o'clock in the morning. 7 o'clock a.m. schedule. And done. Now we click on the X channel. We click on new post. We take the text from the x.txt file. Throw that in there. Add the image. Aha! Uh, you can see the red highlighting here. That's because I took the Facebook post instead. Let's delete that out. Let's grab the X text and we paste that in and you'll see that there's no red text. That indicates that it's less than 240 characters as required. So um, keep an eye out for that red. If uh, there's red text, then you've gone too far. Um, we're going to try very hard not to let that happen, but if it does, you may have some minor editing you have to do. But in any case, now let's go ahead and schedule this post again for the 8th at, what do we say, 7 o'clock? I don't remember what time the first one was, but let's say this one goes out at 7, 7 o'clock on the 8th. And it does the scheduling thing. Now we go to the LinkedIn page and click new post. And for that one, we want to use the full article. So we grab that, we paste it in here. We go to the bottom, we drag the image in and schedule that one. Four, eight, uh, seven, o'clock a.m. schedule and you're done that's all you have to do um, you can continue on to uh, schedule further 
posts for other days, like I said before, but essentially at this point you can walk away and the posts will go out tomorrow morning. So it's that easy. This is a great tool for managing campaigns. Um, we used it for, this is a free, rats, I was supposed to tell you at the beginning this is a, a, a free account. Rather than re-record this all, let's pretend I said that three minutes ago. Anyway, um, I hope this uh, turns out to be useful for you. I hope that it uh, uh, helps you keep your social media channels uh, fresh. I hope it uh, gets you interested users and that they uh, take you up on some of your uh, offers of service projects and so on. And um, from all of us in Zone 29 leadership, uh, district governors, we, we thank you for your time, your attention, and your uh, uh, using this project. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.